At Bendigo Bank, we like to help communities grow. We concentrate on delivering you great products and services. Oh, I like you so very much. So much in fact, I gotta wake you up. It's not that I have Because we know that if you grow, you the community will grow with you. At the Bendigo, it starts with you. Welcome back as we continue our coverage on the Geelong Cricket Show of the Geelong Cricket Association. Now, before we get underway and have a look at uh, what is being round six this weekend, there has been a lot of discussion that we've uh, raised, good, healthy discussion, open and transparent about uh, where we feel that the Geelong Cricket Association Division One Grand Final should be played. But we want you to have your say. What's your view? If you email, as per on the screen, rawlo7 at bigpond.com, we're going to take a poll. We want you to participate. Let us know where you feel that the Geelong Cricket Association Division 1 Grand Final should be played for season 2008, 2009. Be it Winter Reserve, be it the Russell Zam Paddy Oval up at St Joseph College, be it Stinton Oval down at Queen's Park or be at the Geelong Cricket Ground where, if it's available, uh, to be able to do that. Rawlo7 at bigpond.com. We want your view so that we can talk about it here on the Geelong Cricket Show. Let's have a look at round six of uh, what is coming up uh, this weekend. And, of course, uh, the match of the round in Division 1 will certainly be the game between St Joseph's and East Belmont. Third place St Joseph's, unbeaten at this stage, taking on fourth place East Belmont, who lost their first game last round. Do you know, can East Belmont rebound against the might of St Joseph's up at the Russell Zampetti Oval? Should be a great game. Uh, St Joseph's have been in uh, unbelievable touch with the bats. Uh, they did well with the ball last week. Uh, East Belmont had a little bit of a hiccup against uh, South Bowen last game. Uh, look, I think playing at home, St Joseph's... Uh, uh, home ground advantage should uh, make uh, it a, uh, a win for the uh, St Joseph's Creek Club. Cam, your view? Yeah, I think St Joe's will be strong. I think they'll be stronger than uh, East Belmont this time. Well, we've got some footage here showing the uh, G GCA Division 1 game uh, last weekend between Newtown and Chewell and St Joseph's down uh, at the, uh, the Stinton Park uh, Oval. Uh, and in that match, uh, Newtown and Chewell got uh, 221. But good all-round performances uh, where we saw Daniel Fanning uh, make 98 with the bat and take three for 62 with the ball. Uh, so it'll be a, a very interesting battle. Uh, do you think Grant Jew will make his way back in the first 11 for East Belmont, Dino? I think he played last week, didn't he, Grant? Grant Jew, did he? I'll leave that up to your expert knowledge. I was down, I was involved in <laughs> Premier Cricket last week, but I'm getting the, I'm getting the, uh, the Dolly's nod yeah, from, uh, from uh, what, no score. Yeah, I think he might have been one of... Uh, um, Brett Anderton's uh, hat trick balls. Yeah, I think so. Oh. So, uh, yeah, think congratulations to Grant <laughs> Jew. <laughs> and also, congratulations to uh, Brett Anderton for picking up his hat trick. But I tell you what, Dino, uh, I think Brett uh, may be having a little bit of a holiday. Sorry, I I've, 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 I've haven't really been up with the news, Graham. I've, Brett Anderton, I understand, has uh, had his uh, name taken after an incident uh, in that last game and may uh, not... Uh, <coughs> he'll be up before... Uh, he's been up before the tribunal. We'll uh, know the result shortly. So, uh, good luck to South Bar and South Hornstein. As uh, we now move on to the game between uh, Grovedale and Newtown and Chewell that will be played uh, also at Burdu Reserve. Uh, Newtown and Chewell coming off the loss... Grovedale, a reigning Premier's, uh, a comfortable win over Leopold last week. How impressed were you with them? Cam, because uh, you would have been out the first. Dino was at the seconds. <laughs> yeah, I had a look at the game. Um, yeah, their bowling is exceptional. They're pretty good bowlers. Uh, batting, very good. Very good batting side as well. So I think they're an all-round package. They're a tight-knit group. Uh, as you can see on the, on the field, just even their um, the momentum and how they play the game mm. together. And, and the morale as a side is quite good. So I, I'd rank them up as the top finals this year. I mean, in fact, I'll, I'll say as a grand finals. Uh, yes, the Gravedale Tigers certainly uh, taking all before them and uh, they sit on top of the ladder. Five games played, five six-pointers against their name. 
Geelong West take on Leopold tomorrow uh, out at Grovedale, also on the same ground at Birdie Reserve. Uh, this will be a good test uh, for both sides. Geelong West sitting in sixth position with two win, three wins for the season. Leopold, ninth position, one win for the season. Where are you going to win it, Cam? Uh, yeah, uh, batting, I'd say. If um, some of our top order, I'd like to see uh, Josh Hughes make some runs this year, uh, this this week actually, or tomorrow. Uh, I'd like to see. Um, I think it, it, Rocket Rocket Pod Kittle gets behind the ball, right? He'll be doing fine. Our bowling attack. I'd like to see Glenn Strobelak get a few more wickets, and I think if he can get some wickets, and uh, with uh, Reese and um, Tim Marshall, I think that might be the key. And this is one we've got to win. This is one we've got to win. They know that. I mean, we've played the hard sides early. Now the sides, some middle range sides are like ourselves. We do have to win these ones. Mr. Armstrong, your prognostication on the outcome of this game? Well, I see this game as uh, pretty much a mini final, mate. Uh, if uh, if Leopold happened to lose this game, it is curtains for the season. Uh, they wouldn't. Uh, I, I mean, I can't see them making the top six if they lose this game. So. Uh, Becomes a mini final. Look, uh, Geelong West have a a, a very good uh, batting lineup, <coughs> um, and uh, their uh, bowling is uh, obviously uh, very respectable as well. Uh, I would suggest that uh, Leopold need to um, need to get some runs on the board, and uh, and uh, then uh, obviously uh, bowl out uh, the Geelong West side. So had a had a, have had a good battle over the last uh, three four seasons. So I don't see it uh, being uh, any easier. North Geelong take on Lara, and North Geelong will be without uh, Elf Clark, which will be uh, a big un- unavailability. Lara Cats, uh, comfortable winners in that one? Lara are starting to get their game together, so uh, they look to be the uh, the fifth side in the, the top four of obviously already uh, cemented finals uh, cricket, I would suggest. So uh, Lara could slot into number five, and uh, then the all-important number six becomes uh, very, very important to the sides that are below Lara. Reynolds Reserve, second place South Barwon, taking on Bell Post Hill. Can Stace weave his magic down there at South Barwon or will it be the Hornsteins to continue to prevail? I think it might be the Hornsteins. But if Anderton is not playing, uh, Graham, that'll put a pretty big hole in their bowling attack. But I think they have the uh, nucleus of uh, players in their second 11 that uh, can step up to the mark. And in the final game, the Geelong City Sharks taking on Newcomb District. The Sharks with... Uh, one win against their name in eighth position on the ladder. Newcomen District on the bottom yet to record a win. Can they break through or will the Sharks remain firm at Richmond Crescent? I think it was an upset last week, North Geelong beating Geelong City. So uh, Newcomb uh, haven't really been playing uh, great cricket, but they are an unknown side and they could just as likely to come out and make a big score on the weekend. Uh, uh, toss of the coin, that one, Graham. Geelong City, home, home ground advantage. The Geelong Cricket Show, thank you very much for being with us. Thanks to our special guest, Cameron Horn, the president of the Leopold Cricket Club, to Dean Armstrong for his continued valued comments. Congratulations to Russell Mitchell from Newtown and Chewell. 300 games. Scott Condy last week took five for eight for Manifold Heights, including the hat-trick versus Warren Ponds. Well done. And also congratulations to Brad Hornstein from South Barwon and Andrew Ferguson from Mottawari for their selection in the Victorian country uh, side that will play in the Australian Country Club Championships here in Victoria this coming season. Don't forget, if you want to vote for your ground, your choice of ground for the Geelong Cricket Association Grand Final, Rollo 7 at bigcond.com. We'll talk to you next week. Keep you up to date with those results. Have a great weekend. Until next week, Rollo saying, catch ya. At Bendigo Bank, we like to help communities grow. We concentrate on delivering you great products and services. Oh, I like you so very much. So much in fact, I gotta wake you up. It's not that I have words. Because we know that if you grow, the community will grow with you. At the Bendigo, it starts with you.